Hunt Chef Nation from right here in the epicenter of where we all eat what we kill. Hunt Chef Nation has no boundaries broadcasting the fastest and most delicious hour of wild game on the internet from right here in Farmington, Pennsylvania. 15437. I hope you guys are having a great week. Great start to your week coming off the big Independence Day holiday because everything that happens live here in the set bringing you all all the wild flavors brought to you by the one and only 84 Lumber Company building on what they know, building the American dream since 1956, Mike. 56. And even before 1956, it was really important in this great country of ours to work with, break bread with, hang out with, great friends, partners, buddies. Look at this one right here, mine. Mr. Jeremiah Voidhofer, back in the house. Hey, Chef, how we doing tonight? We doing good, how you doing? Well, I'll tell you what, it's an interesting time of year because everybody's starting to get the itch in the back of their head. I know I'm itching, it's back there. Yeah. Deer season's coming, it's deer coming. season's it's coming. Deer season's coming. Yeah. There is so, deer yeah. season. But meanwhile, I'm here to snack. <laughs> and, and help cook. And help cook. Thank goodness, I because like we got a lot to cook tonight. Yeah. We have something really interesting to cook tonight. I don't think it's ever been done. Just say it on Facebook Live, probably not. But Warren, we'll find Warren out. what are you doing over here? Trying to fish. You're fishing in the sink? Yeah, I, I caught like millions in here. What? How did you catch millions of fish in the sink? Wait. You got a bite? Do you have a bite? <laughs> Warren, Warren, you got a bite? Oh my gosh, Warren, you caught a bass. Look at how did you do that in the sink? I always do it. You always do it? Yeah. How did I miss this before? I don't so, know. So this is like shore lunch. We're going to eat it? Yeah. Dude, you just caught a largemouth bass in the, in the set sink. Mike, you caught a really good knot here. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey guys. Hunt Chef Nation. This is dinner tonight. Look at that. Look at that bottom lip on that guy. He's ready to gulp something. Don't stick me, Warren. All right, set that in the corner. Great catch, pal. You pulled it off good. Did you name this fish? Yeah. What did you, what'd you call him? Franklin? Jeff. Jeff. He Jeff. named the fish Jeff. Jeff. So, what we wanted to do here, Mike went fishing yesterday and caught this bass and has kept it rocking and rolling. And what we want to do is replicate shore lunch. Because as sportsmen, as anglers, Get him, Chef! Get him! I got him. <laughs> I want to watch the replay of that and see my face. <laughs> Warren, hand me a towel, please. <laughs> so what we wanted to do was replicate, thank you, Jay, replicate live, um, you know, shore lunch. Your so whether you're hiking, um, you're out in the wilderness, you're on a fishing trip, whatever the case might be, that's one of the most amazing ways to enjoy the harvest, Jay. Yep. I mean, even just like you, you, you get that deer and you're back at camp, back home, and those back straps are on the grill within an hour, two hours, three hours the next morning, whatever the case might be for breakfast. Dude, you did so good at that. He almost got away again, Mike. That Jeff is kicking. You. This was your face, I don't care. It was. So, we're going to take Mike's catch here. And we're going to uh, dispatch this guy. So I've watched a lot of sushi chefs um, do the same thing. What are you doing? Um, processing live fish into sushi. And But we're not going to eat this bass sushi style tonight. What we are going to do is take him back here to the sink. And we're going to scale it and eviscerate it. And then we're going to fry it whole right here live on the set. What do you think about that, Jay? I think it's amazing, Chef, because if you guys um, have ever been to uh, any camp in the backcountry, especially out west, right, Mike? Uh, and even, like Chef said, deer camps all over the country, you're eating some kind of uh, camp right there, the, the meat, as soon as you get it. I know Ryan and I and the camper um, this year had plenty of backstraps within a couple hours after getting done um, doing our photo shoots and enjoying the harvest, Mike. We'd always, when I'd go to Wyoming, We'd always take a 22 or 410 yep. for rabbits or sage grouse or something. I was thinking the guys up north in Canada. Like, you see so many shore lunches up there mm -hmm. on YouTube and like stuff. Like our buddy Nick Isidore. Yep, those guys up there are always eating shore lunch. And our friends in Erie eat some shore lunch. Um, so, right here you're going to see a lot of people. And Chef has quite the array of ingredients out here tonight. 
Man, we're going to fry this fish whole in a little bit of a throwback. We did a walleye, or no, black bass. There was a little black bass not too long ago, um, whole fried fish. And what I'm doing now, I'm deep in the sink, but getting all the uh, scales off of them because the whole fried fish is, it's really something. If you haven't had it, you have to. And it is the best way to enjoy that harvest fresh. Obviously, if you're getting, you got a great fishmonger, you can do it um, that way from the store. But, you know, most of the folks watching Hunt Chef Live, I'm pretty sure their store is the creek, the river, the stream, the lake, right. or the ocean. So that's what we're shooting for here tonight. If you're thirsty while you're doing that, Chef, I'll set up um, the official beer here of Hunt Chef Live. Oh, yes, you know I am. You do you it. Can do that. What are you in the mood for? Set tonight, it up. Chef? Are you in the mood for a, a Buffy or the um, pterodactyl? Do we have a crazy bird? We do. That, that's my inside working name for interdimensional pterodactyl. It's crazy bird. Interdimensional pterodactyl. Thanks for pronouncing it for me. Crazy bird. Here's hey. Chef. Nice. Mike? Um, mm, how about a Pilsner tonight? Perfect. I'm going to go with the lattice. Nice. More Super easy drinking. You talk about an awesome. Easy drinking, um, New England style IPA, Lattice. I'm telling you, Sean and the guys at Health Island have nailed it. Hey, Mike. Hey, Chef. And Chef, I got some ex exciting news in the mail today. Oh, exciting. You I, said you did. I thought I would share with y'all. So I went to the mailbox today, Mike, picking up uh, my kids from, I'm going to cover a bunch of the information, picking up my kids from school, and I had this lovely thing sitting in my mailbox, and it is a South Dakota non-resident archery deer tag. I'm so jealous! Which is good for, so I, I, all I did was uh, put it on the draw and I drew uh, this tag and this is for the ST1 zone. If anybody out there has any experience hunting that, I'd appreciate a message to the Hunt Chef page, or Mountaintop Outdoor page. Uh, we'd love to find out because I just started doing research about an hour ago, Mike. There you go. <laughs> Other than that, in the great state of Pennsylvania, where we're filming from today, um, it's time for the elk draw, Mike. Yeah. Elk and whoa, hey, and blue and blue. Elk and blue. Elk and blue. blue. Nice to see you, buddy. How's that okay. fish coming? Well, he's freshly scaled and uh, eviscerated, and I think Jeff is uh, ready to. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more work to him here, but we're going to eat this guy up shortly. Whoa, he's still going to twitch. Still going to twitch. Still going to twitch. I it's like us the day after uh, the 4th of July weekend. He's, I'm still, he's still trying to I still got it. He's got still got it. Uh, 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 all right. Trying I don't know how he's twitching because we separated us pretty significantly. He's trying to talk. Oh, there. Do it again. Please, sir. All right. Sushi chef style. All good. Doesn't get any fresher. Look, he's trying to talk. Look at his mouth moving. <laughs> It's time for a hell tongue crack. Kick this thing tongue. off. What do you guys think? Mike, you ready? Who else is getting in on this? Oh, here we go. Kimmy, you getting in on this? Yep. Noah's in. Hey. I cut all my fingernails off. All right, I'm good. Everybody else ready? Ready. ready. Doing a hell tongue crack. Bringing a wild flavor to the set on three, two, one. Nice. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Let's eat. Cheers. Happy Tuesday, folks. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday out there. Look, look at his mouth. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers, Jeff. Cheers. Okay, so what we want to do from here is right down along. What I like to do to make sure that all the flesh cooks evenly, we're going to come right along the backbone. About most of the way, three quarters of the way down. And we're going to cut down about an inch, inch and a quarter. I'm not trying to fillet them. Just open up the uh, flays at the top of the back where they're the thickest and look at how gorgeous those flays are inside. And the great part about frying them whole like this is you can pick all that meat off every single little bone in there. And now we're going to put the scores into the sides. Oh yeah. I'm getting good at uh, scaling these bass, Mike. Yeah, we're, good. we're getting a little bit I of practice, did it in, aren't in we? In the sink underwater to try and mitigate <laughs> the scales flying everywhere like the drain flies, you know what I mean? I do. So we've got all of our score relief cuts there to help get that oil, that cooking, 
uh, the heat all through it. We're all cleaned out inside. And then we've opened up down both sides of that backbone for the same thing. So Jay, when Sir. you batter this guy up, all right. okay, with this Hunt Chef straight out of poncho train, so we're gonna go seasoned flour. With the poncho train. We're gonna load it up with the poncho train. SOP as we call it. SOP. SOP. Good. You know what else SOP does really well? Seafood boil. I can't tell you how many messages I've gotten recently with folks that have used straight out of Poncho Train, real damn deal, straight out of the bay in seafood boils. Rather than doing shrimp, that's crabs. Cool. I feel like fish. that's a July thing, right? Oh. Well, I mean, everybody, you know, especially our southern brethren, right? You know, just had an awesome spring, you know, yeah. with all their crawfish boils. And then it's like up north in New England, they got the lobster boils, the lobster yeah. bakes, and everybody likes to keep, you know, super wild flavor like that going. So for some dramatic presentation, we've given Jeff a little uh, prop, yep, if you will. So Jay, if you oh. want to take this guy. Sorry. Say hi to Jeff. Jeff. Hi Jeff, how you doing buddy? Good to see you. Glad you could join us for dinner. Thank you so much for All being I got. here tonight. Mike, great job. Thanks. Say Thanks, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Well, you're going to ingest Jeff. <laughs> That's right. I love it. So, shore lunch, camp lunch, camp dinner, getting that camp meat. So many hunting stories of the West, the East, in the yeah. earliest days. Started off with, we made camp, and then we went out in the woods, and we got camp meat. Yep. They went out, they shot a deer, they shot a squirrel, they shot rabbits, they caught fish. And they brought them straight back and they ate them. So that's what we're working on replicating here tonight. If you have um, simple flour, um, great seasoning, and obviously we're going to use the buttermilk here, but you could use egg, you could go straight flour 100%. Um, you could, if you got some kelp in your pack, you could whip up some beer batter. Um, but that's what we're trying to go for is super fresh, right out of the water, right out of the woods, into the fire, into the oil and making things happen, getting that wild flavor at its peak. Yep. Well, there's nothing wrong with eating out of your freezer, because God knows we do it a lot. And look how nicely you scaled up with just using a knife, like you were saying. No fancy back tools. The, I'm back in my little Bonds Creek knife here, we're just but doing it under the water yeah. in the house. Um, was a lot easier and the scales didn't fly everywhere. And sure. Didn't look like we just, just had like, a glitter party or I something. I learned a lot right there, thank you. My pleasure. Just saying out there. You learned a lot too, real quick. All right, so you're going to coat that guy yeah. in, out, in every crevice, mouth, gills, yeah. uh, everyone, all the way through. Hey, Mike. Hey, Chef. Well, Jay's working on that. Yes. We told everybody that we were going to have a surprise protein tonight. We did. That has come to us all the way from Japan. Ooh. And I don't mean that thing to be disrespectful. That is the utmost respect. I don't know the customs. Just trying to do the redneck respect thing. But everybody knows that I've got a butcher shop, right? You can find us online at shbutcher.com. Um, we don't sell grocery store meat. We sell um, what we call a reserve Angus, which is a top two thirds of choice, the bottom one third of USDA Prime. We sell our own. That's the 84 Lumber Company, baby. We sell our own grass fed beef uh, from Fernstone Farms, raised not even eight miles from the shop hits the ground and is raised um, within eight miles of our butcher shop. 100% verified, process verified, grass-fed Angus beef, um, and we dry age our own. We've got a lot of other great stuff. Natural chicken, some of the best pork you'd ever eat, and of course my brown sugar bacon. Uh, sauces, mustards, rubs, everything. But one thing we just started selling, it has gone um, bonkers nearly overnight, Jay. Nice. Let, let, let's get a look at this. Oh, Jeff, I like your new coat, dude. All right, so you're going to dust them off. You're going to shake every, all the loose off of them. Oh, Jeffy, I love your ways. Pat them a little bit. Give them a pat. Give them a pat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So all, and no more flour than need be. And okay. then you're just going to give them a bath. Do the same thing in the buttermilk. And then we're going to go right back in the flour and do it again. So while Jay's doing that, Again, get all that. We don't want any dry flour. We want it all coated up with the buttermilk. 
Mike gave you like a minute of pond of, of buttermilk there. I'm thinking about, I'm like splashing. Get, get some buttermilk down in that crease on the back. You're, you're, you're on it. All right, so, but we just started selling at the shop was we're working with this cool imp, small importer out of California, state of California. Um, so this comes FedEx to the shop door within 48 hours. Certified A5 Wagyu beef straight out of Japan. That is one of the boneless ribeye cuts. I'm telling you, it looks like a whole lot of fat, and it is, but it is the best eating steak um, that you will probably ever try. So we're gonna cook this guy tonight um, using the Hunt Chef 10 ring and Canadian carnivore, and I cannot wait. So just a different kind of treat to share with you guys. Uh, it's not wild game, but it's wildly delicious and wildly expensive. So the whole wild piece just keeps on trucking uh, for us here uh, at Hunt Chef Nation. I use your uh, dish here as a ladle to give them a camp bath. Camp bath. <laughs> hey, camp baths are good, right? Back in the I mean, At least like three days into camp, you need a camp bath. Yep. Or is it one day? Uh, I usually take one every three, four days. Last year I went seven days, nine days with no shower. I bet Ryan really enjoyed that. I enjoyed Ryan too. <laughs> You're like, sick killer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was good. <laughs> so we're just going to set this out here for everybody to look at for a little bit. Chef, we're not going to cook that until Dave, the end. David wants to know how much per pound. $160. $160 American per pound is what you can get this for at Stonehouse Butcher and Provisions. Um, I've done a lot of research before I purchased it, um, both on the purchasing end and the retail end. And for what it is and the, uh, the incredible... The incredible animal that it is, uh, everything that I've seen, that I've uh, researched, that is a very fair market price. So uh, we ain't getting rich on it. We're selling it and carrying it because we have customers that are interested in trying it. Um, special occasion, just for the uh, call it shits and giggles part of it, uh, or or. Um, just to really try something that is so special, so um, precious and amazing as far as the top of protein goes that you can get your hands on. That's it. Jay, you've done a masterful job. I'm trying, sir. You really have. What did we do with those sticks? There they are. Here's the sticks. Yay! So now that we've got it, Jay's got it, Jeff all battered up here. I'm going to wipe this yeah. up. If you're all that are tuning in. I'd oh, like you to meet oh, Jeff. Oh, oh. Hey Jeff, you look a little chunkier. So before we put Jeff in, we've got some local sweet corn. Oh! Um, we're gonna put the whole the whole ears in straight in the oven here. And we're gonna roast these guys. We're gonna make a honey lime butter with some real damn deal for them. And it's super easy. Super delicious. Warren, do you recognize Jeff over here now? Alright, you got flour like everywhere. More uh, wooden skewers. Jay's got the jacket on him. And what we're gonna do, lay, set him down on the belly. And go ahead, hold the thing, set it down on the bolt. Yep. We're gonna spin him a little okay. bit. And what we're gonna put a for? skewer this way, because I wanna keep him kind of curled up. And I'm gonna push some of that off there. And as part of that, to help ensure that, we're gonna put these skewers in. All right. So we're going to add more flour all the way around them and let them sit here and let that crust set up on them while we make some of the other stuff and then we'll give them a good shake again before we put them in to the oil. So again, seasoned flour, Hunt Chef straight out of Poncher Train, into the buttermilk, back into the seasoned flour, put the skewers in to help keep them bent. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chef, somebody oh. said Jeff has too much suntan lotion on. <laughs> it was hot today, good call sir. It was really hot today. And, all right, come on, Jeff. One last piece here. Chef, do you think for our southern brethren we could do some uh, fried green tomatoes, sir? Oh, I think that's a fantastic Ooh. idea. Hey, why don't you grab those two right there. All right. And this knife. Yep. Go Stand ahead and here. slice. Stand here. Yeah, I think you're good there. Perfect. Go ahead and slice them. Yep. And, hey, Warren, never mind. What? We still have buttermilk. You don't even need to go in there. So, you want to... Uh, you want to cut some stuff up for me? Yeah. 
Awesome. Mike picked us up some awesome fresh peaches. Yeah, it feels good. It's I'm going to cut these in half for you. Hairy. And get the pit, the, uh, pit out of them, the seed out of them. Why does it feel hairy? Well, look how juicy these things are, Mike. Oh my gosh. It smells good. These are going to be awesome. I'm so glad to grab them, Mike. Good job. You said you wanted something different, look, Chef. Look, look, look. Mmm. Juicy peaches, fella. How they smell, Jeff, I, I mean, they, I can smell them already. They're, mm. I can smell them before we cut them. They smell amazing. So you got them all sliced up? Ready, sir. Yeah. So you're going to do this. Just kind of push Jeff to the side there a little bit. Okay. And you're going to do the exact same thing, Jake. Okay. Um, Warren. Hey, so you take you take the your knife, it's a knife. and you're just gonna slice them like this, okay? It's a, wait, why? Sli well, I mean, but slice them the whole way through. Start down at the end. Wait, what do you mean the whole way through? Like all, all the way, way down through? to the board. All the way down to the board. I got two great helpers here tonight, Mike. How about it? You do, Chef. Like What's chef, a viewer was asking where we were at with our black magic. I hope we have it before. Daddy, it's bright. October. When I cut it. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to kind of mash them up with some uh, other stuff here on the table and add to their deliciousness to make them a great compliment to, uh, to Jeff. We're going all the way out here tonight, Warren, to celebrate Jeff, celebrate Mike's harvest, and bring this big old fried largemouth bass all the way home with as much respect and delicious preparation as we can. How'd that sound, Mike? Sounded I meant every damn word of it. That's right. This is this is eat what you hook night, folks. Hook the fork, baby. Hook the fork. Hook the fork. Speaking of hook the fork, we're thinking about doing a little more fishing content um, paired up with preparing it. So stay tuned for that. Like I'm showing off our title sponsor. I like it. Since 1956, they've been selling the goods. Building the American dream, people. Yeah. Hey, everybody, you see this live broadcast, whether it's tonight, next week, next month, next year, give us a share. Help us spread the eat what you kill gospel. Because Lord knows there's enough BS out there in everybody's feed, on the TV, and the internet. There is um, a lot of garbage. Let's like spread something that really people of, of our cloth cut and people that are thinking about getting here can get behind and um, get around a campfire, around a table, around a kitchen table and share the harvest, share the memories, bring the next generations forward, share the Eat With The Kill Gospel. Hunt Chef Live right here. I want to get all that peach juice in this bowl so I'm bringing this Rarick. Hey, anybody like this cutting board? This is handmade by the Rarick brothers up in Armstrong County, PA. Hey, you know what else is from Armstrong County, PA, Mike? What's that, Chef? Me! Ha! <laughs> Good things come from Armstrong County. You know, there, there's a couple. There's a couple. Mmm. Mmm. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right, peaches are in the bowl. Hands all juiced up. Jay's back here rinsing off the flour buttermilk flour goobers he's got on his hands. So anyhow, yeah, look for more good things soon from Rarick Woodworks and uh, Hunt Chef Nation. Because we're going to be bringing you guys some awesome custom cutting board action. Look at you go, Jay. Hey, buddy. Oh, I just want to get some, make, whip up some remoulade and go now on that. Warren! Come hither, son of mine. You got more chopping to do, yo. Okay. So what else y'all doing out there in the great outdoors? We know rattlesnake season is popular here in Pennsylvania. Has anybody been out there catching some of them slithery oh, stuff? Like turtles and rabbits are open July. Rabbits. Rabbits. Rattles. <clears throat> rabbits, rattles, rattles. Rattles. July 1st they opened, right? Yep. Bang. Turtle, frog, and, and rattlesnake. Made it, Mike. Oh, we're gonna. So we're gonna. Uh, we got the elk draw and antlerless deer license in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> we'll be sent in very soon. So keep your hands back here. 
I'm trying to slice them real thin, okay? Like that, all right? Just go the whole way down. You got this. All right, so we got some broccoli florets, and you know, one of our most popular seasonings is Canadian carnivore. And you know, obviously, Canadian carnivore, I mean, you're immediately, your mind's going to meat. But one of the things it makes best, believe it or not, is roasted vegetables. I don't care if you're roasting broccoli, beets, radishes, carrots, doesn't matter. Canadian carnivore, and along with, you know, the rest of them, all 12 seasonings, the delicious dozen, aren't just for meat. They're great. Don't go sideways. Mm -hmm. No, no, straight up and down. I'm doing Slice it. bad time, so it's Slice easier. it. Slice it. Don't go this way because you catch your thumb. Keep it straight up and down. Okay? okay. You got it, bud. Remember where your thumb's at, Sonny. Oh. So, we're going to take some extra virgin olive oil and dress up this broccoli. We're going to be really liberal with it. The whole way around. Because we want plenty in the bottom to toss once they come out of the oven. And coat them good on the way down. I pronounced that good. And now we're going to take carnivore. And we're just going to load it up. All across it. And I'll roast just like this. 325 full fan with our corn. But we're going to put this on the top tray. Going in three... Two. Oh. Yes. oh, hey, can you smell that corn? I smell it. You smell that corn? <clears throat> How good's their corn smell? I love corn season. Oh, Tells me too. summer's here, Mike. Summer. Yes. And deer season's not that far away. Not that far away. If anybody wants to keep up with us even more than just on here on Facebook, go subscribe at huntchef.com to the email list. Um, you can hit that uh, Hunt Chef YouTube channel subscribe button, the Mountaintop Outdoors YouTube subscribe button. Keep up for more exclusive content because it's coming. All right, so super sweet peaches. We also got some hot banana pepper mustard. Stonehouse restaurant, our place. We just picked up this line, made it our own. We're gonna put a little couple dabs of that. Yes, hot banana pepper mustard in fresh peaches. Don't be scared. It's gonna be good. Then we're gonna add some real damn deal. Hey, while we're adding this real damn deal to these real darn peaches, it's time once again for roll call, people. Everybody out there in Hunt Chef Nation watching now, or in the future, chime in where you're from, city, town, state, province, country. Let us know where you're watching from for your chance to win. Tonight, we're giving away a $10 Hunt Chef e-gift card. Go to all the wild flavored HuntChef.com, a mountaintop outdoors, I eat deer t-shirt. I know where that I one, I know where that one's going. He just, and, he just said hello from Alaska. And we're going to give away some of these Buck Fever Synthetics to a third winner tonight. Stay tuned. Warren, awesome job. Super fresh peaches. Real damn deal. Hot banana pepper mustard. Now green onions going in. Um, Warren, if you take next with your uh, awesome little Bonds Creek knife. Just chop that cilantro up for me. Just chop it. Chop it, chop it. Remember where your fingers are, please. Remember where your fingers are. Just chop it into little wee bits. Yep, do it like that. And then put that in there as well. Jay, so you have those green onions, this honey, this butter, and this lime juice you just greased. I gotta try one of your green onions, fried green tomato. Straight back to Georgia, baby. Mm. Wow. How good is that? Check it out, people. Jason Fairbanks in Paonia, Colorado said it's hotter than seven hells the past few days. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty. That's funny. That's funny. And all hotter than all seven things. hells. Wow. Oh, I got a mouth for it now. And it's delicious. Our friend Dennis over at the uh, the Duck Fat Spray Man sent us a bottle, and we're almost out, Dennis. Hey, Dennis, if you're out there, we're almost empty. Just saying. Waggy ribeye, pure rendered duck fat. <laughs> like it needs a lot, right? Right, Mike? No, not, doesn't need much. So what I want to do, oh, where's the tin right here? There it is. So we're gonna load this guy up with the Hunt Chef ten ring wild game grill rub, the speed beef rub. Everybody know what speed beef means. It stands for venison. And 
We're going to let that set in for just a couple of minutes while we heat our pan because we're definitely going to snack on that. And then we'll season the other side. Watch out, big boy. We got some fire coming at you. Oh, hey, that's the wrong burner. Surprise! All right. We're not going to have that pan too hot. There we go, right there. We'll let that set a second. We'll season the other side. Jay's mixing up the honey butter. Honey butter. We got the green onions already. We can lose this, lose this. Tongs we're going to need over here. Lose that. Hey, Mike, what do I always say in the kitchen? Clean as you go. Clean people. as you go. Clean That's right. as you go, people. That's what we're trying to do. I'm helping the man out. Because he is doing a great job here tonight, Jay. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Now, so we had an extra year of corn. Didn't make it in time to roast. We lose that. We're going to keep this lime and this cilantro back here. And one of the things, one of my favorite things about summer, which one's better? This one's actually a little heavier, so that means it's riper. But this one's prettier. We'll go with riper. We're going to take one. And one of the things that I love about summertime are garden tomatoes. And this guy, we're going to take just a foot off of it here from the top. Look how pretty that is. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Everybody like you some garden tomatoes out there? I know you do. Daddy, so we're going to cut... Oh, dude, you're doing so good tonight. That's a great summer thing, too, Chef. Oh. Everybody's enjoying their garden right now. Come on. And one more slice. We're going to go and take that top of that core out of that guy. We'll just force it out. Come out, core, come out. All right. So then we're going to get the top and bottom. Lose those for the show. And look how. What? I'm going to the living room. You're going to the living room. Okay. Warren's going to the living room. He'll be back, people. Don't worry. A little bit extra virgin olive oil on each slice. How long do you think Jeff will take? Um, Jeff's going to take about four minutes, I think. Ooh. So we're going to get him in there in just a second. How's your lime butter coming jay it's slowly coming slowly coming slow process people sorry well that's okay it's a small bowl and we have nothing but time you're all golden right. all right so then from there one of the best things on tomatoes people oh no it's not even here what am i talking about where's that mike there it is one of the best things i keep telling you guys it's not all about the meat it's not always all about the wild meat it's about the flavor hunt chef smoky bayou going on these garden tomatoes trust me trust me and there's no basil here there's no balsamic vinegar here there's extra virgin olive oil awesome summer tomatoes and hunt chef smoky bite Ooh. now those we've got our crispy fried green tomatoes that are already seasoned up with the straight out of poncho train with buttermilk and see jay that's one of the great things about having here is because you just did something I would have probably never done. Hey man, I just tried one. He, one. We got wow. honey lime butter with the scallions on a fried green tomato. Mm -hmm. I ate one. I went, uh oh. Nick's <laughs> <laughs> try this. Back in the day, there was an it semester called AOL, and I went, uh oh. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> he just left me speechless for like 15 <laughs> seconds with my own stuff. Yeah. That doesn't happen very often. Mm. That is damn good. Holy mackerel. Wow. There might get up on it. Mm. There you go, brother. Thanks, buddy. Great job, Jay. Thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Jeff? Time for Jeff. Now, we've had Jeff battered here, here for some time. And you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to steal your thunder, Jay. You put Jeff in. You did all this work. Oh. So just knock him back and forth yep. without trying to push off any of the seasonings or lose or, or don't try not to lose the. Okay, got it. The deals, so. All right, try and like hold them upside down for a second. Yep. He's, he's curled enough, so I'm gonna hold his tail fin and the fish with the tongs. And I overfilled this, so if you're the manufacturer, um, you know, don't freak out on me. There goes Jeff. We'll see you soon, buddy. How exciting is that? 
I'm really excited. I'm very excited. Jeff, you have us so excited. Warren, you did a great job, pal. He's got the cilantro, the peaches. All right, we already put the real damn deal in there. Jay, go ahead and mix that up. I think we're good with the olive oil for right now. Hey, Jay, mm. Mountaintop Out Outdoors has an official firearms partner. We do, the great people from Avella, Pennsylvania, Precision Arms. If you guys caught any of the season this year, uh, we had definitely done some damage with our muzzle loader. It is nothing for that thing to hold a 500 yard pattern, which is crazy. And they are made one at a time right here in southwestern Pennsylvania. Currently, uh, they have a ad out right now for uh, this month's build. I think there was what, five, it started at five and there was three left today. Hmm. Those are the 28 nozzles, I believe. Three days left. Okay, so this piece of meat right here. Retail value, one pound A5 Wagyu boneless ribeye straight from Japan, courtesy of Stonehouse Butcher Provisions. Find us online at shbutcher.com. Put that lid on there, Jay. Yes, sir. Um, going straight in the pan, you ready? So this is the side we seasoned earlier. Pans were preheating. Hot enough, but not too hot. Don't want to burn the seasoning, but we want to get a great crispy sear. That's why we added the duck fat. That's why we put the seasoning on the outside. <laughs> Mike? Chef? I am so, so fired up. We've got this largemouth bass that... Swim and grease, baby! Oh, man. And a one pound boneless A5 Wagyu ribeye six feet away from each other. With all this flavor, look at those tomatoes. Do you see this peach relish we just made? Look at the juice in there. I mean, oh, the honey butter, the corn's coming out of the oven. We're gonna need a tray for the corn, Jay. Gotcha. Tray for the corn, Jay. Mine's okay. all over Duck, again, uh, right beside me. There you go. Quick grab. Quick grab. Pretty soon, I think you guys will be able to find this duck fat uh, on huntchef.com. Straight out of Nebraska. All right, so I think we've got a good sear on that first side. Ready? Oh, I think we did pretty good there, Mike. What do you think? You did awesome, Chef. Timing is everything. Flipped it like an egg. For a lovely fillet of fish. And we're going to leave this guy nice and rare. One more time, Mike. It's time for roll call. Chime in where you're from out there at Hunt Chef Nation. Where are you watching from tonight? City, town, state, province, country. Taking in all the wild flavor and uh, outdoor talk we've got going on. It's trail camera season. Just it's trail camera season, yeah. people. And if y'all want to learn how to do this, uh, if you're not, um, if you haven't grown up in a hunting environment, or maybe you have, and you want to learn how to eat it better and hunt at the same time, make sure you check out the Hunt Chef experience. <laughs> There's the mountain top winner, New Zealand. Thank you so much for doing that. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's have a peek at Jeff. All right, Jeff. Everybody, check out my Hunt Chef Experience Hunts. And those are where you get to hunt big bucks in the Midwest with me, field dress with me, butcher with me. Jeff looks amazing. Oh, my goodness. I, I think Jeff has like 30 seconds, and he's, we pronounce him done. We're going to get just a little more of that real thick shoulder meat. But back to the Hunt Chef Experience Hunts, we're going to hunt big bucks in Kentucky, in Illinois, in Missouri, three great outfitters. We're starting off at Holy Pursuit Outfitters in Illinois, headed west to Missouri from there at um, Twisted Oak Hunts, and then wrapping it all up in early January, back where it all started, Bluegrass Whitetail Outfitters. So if you want an awesome hunt with hanging out with me, cooking with me, processing with me, and maybe we'll do fun stuff like this. That's where you want to chime in. Check it out at HuntChef.com. Book your experience hunt today. Largemouth bass straight out of Farmington. Drip. Oh, 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 oh. How 
excited are we right now, people? One pound boneless Wagyu A5 ribeye straight out of Japan. And that fat curl, we're gonna slice it thin and eat it just like that. Probably sprinkle a little more seasoning on it. Mmm, mmm. So our friend Nick um, of Gene's Sports Shop says he's, it's awesome stuff and he's glad to be a dealer. We're glad to have you, Nick. Gene, you're the man. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you so much for being an incredibly valued retail partner for the Hunt Chef line. And uh, I'll tell you, buddy, what you guys do as independent shops out there, bringing us onto, into your home, onto your shelves, I, I don't know how to thank you other than saying thank you tremendously because everybody here and our little family of Hunt Chef Nation appreciates it. Warren, say thanks, Mr. Gene. <laughs> Ryan, that might have been difficult because I caught him on a night crawler, but we would have fried and cooked that too. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean. Wow. Ryan said what? we should have fried it with the lure in its mouth. The Look presentation. How cool Jeff looks. I mean, Jeff's the man right now, right? Jeff. Jeff's the man. We've got our, uh, our roasted broccoli. We're going to pair up with this awesome Wagyu. Jeff's looking. Uh, you know it, Josh. You were there. Dare I say, Jeff's looking dead sexy. And you guys can check this all out or click the links from the Hunt Chef website, correct, Chef? Yeah, especially the experienced hunts. Anybody who wants to be a retailer, we've got a retailer map on there that has been built out. Um, you want to uh, email us and talk about carrying the Hunt Chef line at your store. It's all on the website, huntchef.com. We'd love to hear from you. And if I wanted to have a nice cup of joe in the morning, where would oh. I get wild ground? Oh, 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 you're talking about wild ground. You want to talk about, so, you know, there's just not enough hours in a day. But there is a small local roaster here. I've been a coffee freak for decades. Um, Jay's a coffee freak. Mike's a coffee freak. Cammy's a coffee freak. Noah's a coffee freak. You know, it, it is, it's what we do. And it's, you know, just a huge part of that go juice that gets us fired up every single day. Like, look at these peaches. I cannot wait to put this all together. Look good to shuck. Good to shuck. Okay. And so, every batch of Hunt Chef Wild Grounds coffees, we got the light, medium, and dark roast, are hand done, small batch, all organic, all uh, responsibly sourced from all over the world. We come, our light roast is from Ethiopia, the medium from Sumatra, and the dark, Costa Rica, baby. And it is some fantastic coffee. If you haven't tried some, you need to. You can get it in as small as a half pound bag. Mike will send it right to your door. You can give it a shot and take it from there. But I guarantee you're gonna fall in love with it. Um, our good friend, Chef Anthony Roboto out of Joyzee. Um, just had a half pound we sent him and he said I haven't found a coffee I like and could drink black in a long time thank you so much and uh, yeah we're pretty excited about it pretty darn excited about it we got lots of great products out here all right Jay you made the butter you shucked the corn butter it up and then we need to try some of smoky and I, I love it with real damn. So, two awesome Hunt Chef seafood seasonings that again are great on so many other things. You won't hate it, I promise. While he's doing that, I feel like Mike, our ribeye has rested long enough. You ready? Ready, ready, chef. ready, chef. All right. When I, when I say that cuts like butter. Uh, I'm not lying. So, mm. told you I was gonna leave it rare. Mike, you ready? I'm ready, Chef. No, you ready? Oh yes. Jay, you ready? So excited! I'm a professional fat kid, Chef. All right, you can grab that. Well, right off the bat, the texture.
texture is so different. It is unbelievable. Wow. So it, it has the texture of filet, but it has the perfect fatty taste of a ribeye that you dream of. Is that fair, Chef? I, I, I you know, it's it's your call. Yeah. But that's what I got. I might have to go get a spoon to cut the rest of this just to show you guys. Wow. Wow. Unreal. Straight out of Japan. The most expensive beef on planet Earth. Unless this was dry aged, then it would be more expensive. A5 Wagyu. Mmm. Get yours today, shbutcher.com. Actually, you're going to have to call us. I don't even think I have it on the website yet. It's so new. And here, Jay, you got to balance, eat your veggies. Okay, buddy. Try some carnivore broccoli. You're going to think about that beef flavor. <clears throat> How's that pair up for you? Oh, wow. Very nice, show. So, carnivore with all the different. It's really good. Nice. All the different herbs in it. So, we got to get some pictures. Before we go, uh, before we before we jump into Jeff, which we need to here soon, that sounded kind of weird. But we'll jump into Jeff regardless if it sounded weird or not. Right, we got to get a couple pictures of this guy. Who's up for that? Got it. You got it, Mike. We're gonna get a couple pictures. Okay, Chef. Hey, it's 9:25. It's almost time for announcing hmm? the winners of roll call here tonight on Hunt Chef Live. All right, half smoking. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Warren, you want to try a piece of corn? Warren, you want to try a piece of corn? Yes. I'm getting in there. Raymond Livermore, tuning in from Australia tonight. Wow. So you want me to rate it like one out of ten? We got that southern hemisphere covered. New mm. Zealand, Australia. How good. Mm. It's a real damn deal on corn. Did you get pictures of Jeff? Yep, I did get pictures of Jeff. Okay, so now, Jay, you ready to try? Well, Mike should probably have the first bite of Jeff. Andrew Allen from Sarasota, Florida, in the middle of the hurricane. <laughs> He's so lucky. Brother, be safe. Take care of my girl Kels down there. He's live from the hurricane. All right. Just have a look. at the, oh. Not the whole, I'm going to cut you a proper bite. I'm saying have a... <laughs> Put the camera on the fish, Mike. Put the camera on the fish, hurt, <laughs> Chef. We're gonna feed you. This is your harvest, brother. Oh, it's it's being cranky. It's not gonna let me focus, Chef. That's all right. Now, I'm gonna give you this nice center cut piece, crispy skin. I'm pretty sure it is without bones. We got the peach on there. Got a little bit of the peach chutney juice. Juice. All right, everybody. That Mike is gonna house it. Let's see. Five. Five Folks, you haven't the slightest idea how good that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, turn the camera around. Mm. Jay, mm. Get some here, brother. Mm. I mean, hey. fresh wow. fish you at its best. Me. I'm invisible, so you can't see me eating corn. I can't see you eating corn. But I can see you. I want to see you eating Jeff. You ready? That's amazing. I'm going to eat Jeff. Yes, you're going to eat Jeff. Sorry. Here. I'm just going to give you, here, right here, Warren. Let's give you a little dab in the peach juice. I don't want to murder my Right here, yes. Yeah. Is there a bone in here? No. Okay, there it goes. What do you think? Kid loves fish. I love it. Do you? Awesome. Dad's going to try it. Yeah, the summer, the summer sweet with the fruit here that he's got going with this corn is just impeccable with matching. Then we got all the rich next door over here with this uh, waggy ribeye. Very nice. That's a good pairing. All right. Last thing to taste, Jay. Oh, buddy. Garden tomatoes. What did I put on there? Smoky, right? Yeah. That'll make you happy. Yeah, nothing, nothing tastes like summer, but like garden. <laughs> That'll make you happy. Oh my gosh. I want a bite of that with the fish. I mean, imagine if we just kind of pulled the ball apart and have just a... Man, if we would have done like five, six more fish like that. Mmm. 
I tried, I tried, Chef. I tried. Mike. Yes, uh, Chef. One of the things, you know, we're based here in Farmington, PA. We're a small um, rural town. Everybody knows everybody, very close-knit, and tons of amazing people live here. And uh, just at the end, one of our great buddies that I've known for, God, 25 years, probably longer than that, um, Mr. Art Frazee. He's, uh, he's in the piddle, and he is an awesome guy, um, proud dad, proud family, amazing folks. Um, his wife, daughters, I mean, they're just solid, solid, solid people. Um, we're asking for your prayers for him tonight uh, to uh, send that family some love. Uh, Mr. Art Frazee and family, God bless you. We're here for you. You guys need anything, please reach out, and uh, hope you're great. Thanks everybody so much for being here tonight. God bless you all. Hope you enjoyed your time. Remember, give this thing a share. Remember our town sponsor, the only one, 84 Lumber Company, building on what they know since 1956, the official beer of Hunt Chef Live and Mount Top Outdoors, Helltown Brewing, tonight with the Crazy Bird, aka International Pterodactyl. What a mouthful. Triple Hazy IPA. Hey, I can't wait. To Out of Export, Pennsylvania. I can't wait to do it next week. That's a great point. I can't mm. either. Mm. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, always eat what you kill. That's what he said. Love you guys. Thank you. Good night, guys. Stay tuned. A lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and HuntChef.com.